Today, we're going to talk about Obyte and the Internet of Things. For those of you who don't know, the Internet of Things is destined to become a massive network of interconnected devices, people, and things that can both trade data and services about the way they are used and the environment around them. Today, there are roughly 12 billion active IoT devices, and in the next four years, that number is expected to grow to 75 billion. The IoT is a multi-billion, if not trillion dollar economy, waiting for the right incentives and solutions to bring it to life. The goal is to enable a true machine economy, and to do so we need to provide a layer capable of facilitating transactions, specifically microtransactions. With an efficient distributed ledger capable of microtransactions, connected devices would be able to network and autonomously conduct commerce. Companies and businesses would also be able to establish safer and more efficient pay-as-you-go and streaming payment models, which would result in completely revolutionizing the virtual goods markets for gaming and plenty of other entertainment-based markets. Whether it's Bitcoin, Ethereum, or traditional banking methods, microtransactions are simply not possible with these value transferring networks because the fees for transacting in these networks cost far more than an IoT microtransaction would be worth. Traditional payment methods simply can't facilitate this type of transaction. But there is one technology that can. Obyte. Obyte utilizes something called payment channels, channels that are powered by Obyte's autonomous agents and allow for streaming payments at no cost at all. With a payment channel, devices, servers, users, or any connected wallet only pay to open or close a channel with another server, user, device, wallet, etc. All transactions within the channel are free of cost, and the cost to open a channel is incredibly minuscule, allowing for productivity and commerce on the smallest of scales. The majority of IoT devices are low-power devices, known as end devices, think sensors and actuators. And these devices have significant power restraints. Due to these restraints, Obyte built an extremely lightweight solution that enables microcontrollers to transact. It consumes so little power that there is hardly any noticeable power consumption in addition to the device's normal operations. In other words, any IoT device can use Obyte without any difficulty. Obyte has positioned themselves as a leading candidate to bring a true machine-to-machine -machine economy to life. Please make sure to like, follow, comment, and ring that notification bell so you don't miss any of our future Obyte content.